I'm recording the tour now. So moving right on. The virtual tour of Emory. Okay, and I'm gonna give you these slides also because they have hot links to the Emory, um, Emory maps, Emory everything, but basically we're going to walk down Clifton Road and it looks kind of deserted now because there's no cars. Usually it is very crowded because you have all of the CDC, all of Emory Healthcare, and all of uh, um, the whole university all on this two lane road. I mean, it's four lanes really. Um, so I'm gonna take you down from Clifton Road starting at North Decatur and then walking toward the CDC, which is its own individual kind of city next door, and show you some of the buildings and where you will basically be walking around uh, as a student. And there's a map link and everything for that. So again, this is a Google map. We're, we're right here. Uh, this is on the corner of North Decatur and Clifton Road, and we're walking from south toward north. So this way is north down Clifton. Clifton is kind of a famous street because all of Emory Healthcare is here, all of Emory University is kind of right here. Then the whole city of the CDC is right there on Clifton. So you can kind of see traffic gets pretty backed up when, when we're not having shelter in place here. So we're gonna walk this way. So walk with me. First thing we would see is the Emory Law School. Again, you can, hopefully, you could be a JDPA, but uh, law school's here, and right across from them is the business school. And you can get your bachelor's, master's, or PhD. They even have a healthcare administrative tract now. Um, so the business school is right there on campus. Beautiful building. Guayzetta is a, an executive with Coca-Cola. Um, Coca-Cola donated lots of money to Emory. Uh, so as Coke stock goes, so does Emory, I think. But uh, if you donate millions, you get your name on a building for sure. Okay, this is walking past the business school. You'll see our main library. It's several stories tall, beautiful inside. Uh, lots of computers and places to study and hide out. It's got its own cafe. Um, so that's one of the buildings you will have access to as a student, but we have our own healthcare library. There's a theology library also on campus. Um, so you have several that you can partake in. So it's called the Woodruff Library. Again, Woodruff was associated with Coca-Cola and did a lot of philanthropy in Atlanta. This is the Cox Hall Food Court and Clock Tower. There's also a beautiful computing center in there where you can get big screen TVs and computers and actually check out video equipment. It's also a food court, so there's usually about 10 different um, fast food kind of and healthy food places to eat. And you can come out and sit outside in the sun. Uh, and this is called the bridge uh, going over to the um, uh, main campus area. They do have a farmer's market there uh, one day a week, usually at noontime, just not, not lately. We do have a classic quad with the old buildings. These are the original Emory buildings, so you can sit on the grass and kind of chill out. Um, it's beautiful when the trees are in bloom. We have a museum that is one of the largest antiquity collections in the whole Southeast, including mummies. You get in for free on Wednesdays and it's called the Carlos Museum. So that's right on the classic quad. Then we have Dooley. Dooley's wearing his N95 mask. I saw this yesterday as I was walking. I gave you a little link to Dooley. He's the unofficial mascot for Emory, and he goes all the way back to the first 19th century here. Um, but anyway, he's prepared for COVID-19. Um, the real mascot is the eagle. Okay, so that's the Emory eagle in front of Dooley, who's the imposter there. Um, but we're the Emory Eagles. Our football team is undefeated because we don't have one. Um, so yeah, no big football here. We have soccer maybe and a little basketball, a little swimming. I think we're good at that. We have a brand new student center just opened this past year that's beautiful. Um, so lots of study areas and nooks and crannies, a um, full service buffet restaurant uh, right there in the student center at the heart of campus. We have a big, massive, I'd say it's almost like two blocks long uh, gym with Olympic pool, uh, rock wall, 
several, I mean, exercise equipment that you cannot believe down up, up in the whole top floor. It's like three floors of this whole expanse. Uh, there's a whole track area and tennis courts, but you all have full access to the gym. A lot of our students beat traffic by coming in early and will uh, work out and they have showers and lockers there or will stay late and do the same. Some even do uh, lunchtime workouts. So those are all open to you. Also the intramural sports are something our students get involved with and have teams for uh, touch football and volleyball, um, basketball. So those are all available through our gym called the Woodpeck for Woodruff. Again, you hear that name a lot. Now let's get medical. This is the main hospital right down on Clifton Road. Uh, this is mainly adult hospital um, and it's not for any trauma or anything like that. It does have an emergency room for non-pregnant, no trauma. But anybody else sick, um, so general medicine, surgical, uh, hospital, um, and it really has all the services represented from oncology to uh, surgery to general medicine and all the subspecialties. So the hospital is right there on campus. It's right across from the medical school. Uh, you will be doing patient workups there uh, during first year and you'll do rotations there as a second year clinical student. Um, so that's one of the options. Um, and it's very convenient for being right there on campus. Uh, this is the outpatient clinics. Again, the hospital for inpatient, then this serves all the subspecialties as outpatient clinics. Then we have a Winship Cancer Institute for adults. This is uh, an NCI, National Cancer Institute, a designated uh, clinic, several research protocols undergoing. Uh, several of our PAs work there and you can do an elective there. Um, we do also have MD Anderson as an alternative if you want to get involved with HEMOC, but it's, uh, you can get a great experience right here on campus at Winship. Um, we have bus service right in front of Emory Hospital. There's a big circle and all these buses, blue and white, are called the Cliff Bus System. This is all provided free, trying to get traffic off of Emory Streets and off of Clifton Road. Uh, so these buses run um, pretty much from early morning to late in the evening, serving all the hospitals around Atlanta. And uh, I put a link to all the different places they go. Um, but if you're in Atlanta and want a free tour, just hop on the bus. Um, they go downtown to Grady and we'll bring you right back. Um, and you can see all of Atlanta. Um, so the MARTA rail system does not come to Emory. The uh, Cliff bus system does take, they have one bus route that does go to, to the De Decatur MARTA station. There is MARTA bus service on campus, um, but sometimes the Cliff is better. So that's the Cliff bus system for you. This is the medical school, the medical education building. This is where you spend half your life first year. Uh, half your day or even more is spent in this building, um, usually in the middle part, sometimes down one of these side buildings. Uh, the inside has been totally renovated, keeping the old facade, um, but they basically have small group rooms. This is where we meet for society. We have our own lecture hall here that we use half the day. The sim lab and the anatomy labs are all in this building. And this is right across from the main Emory Hospital and across from the bus terminal there, the circle. So this is a typical lecture hall, a stadium seating. We have robo cams that actually video all the lectures. Uh, so you can come back and watch lectures at 2 a.m. in your PJs if you like, uh, all online. Um, uh, there's power at every seat so you can plug up your laptops and devices. And um, these are pretty much state of the art. Um, this is our anatomy, basically the sim lab right down in the basement. Uh, we have an operating room, an emergency room set up, and then several, basically, um, we have, um, you know, plastic arms and legs for you to practice on uh, for doing IVs and procedures and lumbar punctures. We don't do those on each other. We actually have, have body parts uh, in plastic. So you can see plastic man on the table, but basically we can run codes uh, and everything can be recorded two-way window. Um, and can make it as real as possible. So that's where we learn procedures and ultrasound in the sim lab.
up on the third floor, we have several offices set up like a clinic. Uh, so it has an exam table, a patient exam table, usually an otophthalmoscope, a sink, just like a clinic. And you have standardized patients that come in and these are the actors that will act for you. Everything is recorded on cameras. You can see a little camera up on top up here. Uh, so you can come back and see those encounters. You also practice your physical exam on each other and the medical history as you're practicing to do these um, OSCEs. And those are objective structured clinical examinations. Um, so we do a lot of time up there practicing our history and physical exam skills there with the under supervision of the faculty. Um, lots of mannequins to learn on. Again, we don't uh, do things on each other uh, except put casts on. Uh, we do do casts and we ultrasound each other. Um, but everything else, we have mannequins in um, for practice. And like I said, the anatomy is full dissection. The anatomy lab is down in the basement. And uh, um, you will be doing that fall semester when you first get here. And like I said, very um, time intensive for that fall semester. This is the Harvey or the heart simulator. And again, it does all kinds of murmurs and has neck veins and he breathes. Um, but he, you can't kill him. I don't think so. Um, right across the street from the um, medical education building is a Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, and their flagship hospital is Eggleston, right there on Clifton Road. So this has the Aflac Cancer uh, Ward, and it also has um, helipad fly-in kids. Um, uh, they accept trauma, but there's three hospitals in Atlanta that treat kids. Um, one is at Grady called Hughes Balding and then Scottish Wright on the north side. And you have access to do rotations in all three of those for your pediatrics. This is where the PA program is, walking past Eggleston down across the railroad tracks. Uh, this is the 1462 building. It doesn't have anybody's name. Nobody put millions into it. But the PA program is housed on the second floor. And we have our own PA classroom. Here you can see everybody. Uh, we're set for 60 students, but we only have 54. Um, but we have stand-up desks now and uh, power at every station. Everything is videotaped and coordinated. Um, and there's even a little snack bar in the back. Um, the PA offices are there, so that's where the faculty hang. Um, and uh, that's where you would come for interviews at the 1462 building. Uh, we have on the ground floor is the entrance to the health sciences library. So th this is for medical students, nursing students, PT students, um, but we do have real books there as a library. It's also an internet cafe, but mainly the whole library is digital. So we, we pick digital books for you to have uh, as textbooks so it'll save you money because all these are purchased through the Emory fees. So we try and make sure you don't, unless you want paper and want to go buy that, all these will be provided to you through the library, as well as um, many of the journals are all uh, available to you through your Emory login. And let's see, moving right along. Okay, looking past our building is the beautiful Rollins School of Public Health. It is now two buildings hooked with the sky bridge. They're building a third building uh, right in front of the this one here. Uh, but if you were to do our dual degree program, MPH, uh, you would go to Rollins for one year in one of the six programs they have, and then would come to us and finish with your own class as a um, PA. So you'd graduate with an MPH and an MMSC as a PA, Masters of Medical Science. So again, this is kind of the connector between the PA building and the Rollins. It's right next door. And there's even an underground walkway you can go through when it's cold and rainy. And then the very last building we come to as we're walking toward the north is the nursing school and they're self-contained for the bachelor's programs, master's and doctorate nursing NP program are all here. They have their own lecture halls, their own sim lab, um, but there are colleagues right next door. Um, and right beyond their building is this thing called the CDC. It's a city in the city. Um, but is a huge complex. You really can't get in there. Um, only the museum is open to the public. And um, it is a very restricted area. Um, so 
it is our neighbor next door. Several of our faculty that will teach you are basically um, have appointments with the CDC and with Emory. And uh, so you do get exposure. We have several alumni working for the CDC, but all of them have masters of public health along with their PA degree. So they do accept PAs now on the uh, invest the epidemiologic investigative service or EIS teams where that was usually just physicians now it's both so that is a, a new thing but CDC is our neighbor right next door so again if you have questions please use this QR code and it'll take you right to a form as we will not do oral questions uh, it is just too many people and too hectic. So we'd like to get your questions that you may have that we didn't answer on a form. We'll email you back with the question directly. And I think that's the most efficient way. So thank you for your time. Thank you for spending uh, this afternoon with us. And hopefully you gain the information you need. Hopefully COVID will go away and we can offer tours and more real open houses, uh, hopefully. Uh, again, we're just watch and wait. Um, so be safe, practice hand washing, social distancing, and uh, we hope to see you applying. So uh, again, CASPA opens at the end of the month and uh, we will start reviewing applications soon thereafter. So be sure and get your 2,000 hours of clinical service for you. Click submit. And uh, if you have any questions about that, just please let us know. These are our email, uh, aplatt at emory.edu. It's probably, I'm the point person. We have several excellent people on staff, including Kay, Kalila, Ursula, and Javar. Uh, we are all here to serve you and help you become PAs. Um, I'm the point person, so if you, just remember one email, it's aplatt at emory.edu, and I will be sure to get either me or one of the other team to answer you. So I'm going to sign out and hopefully you will give us your questions and we will get those back to you by email.